So all this week they're working in collaboration with Lise Walker, who is a guest artist, uh, who is a sound painter. And basically what sound painting is, is it's a live form of improvisation that's led by a conductor. So basically uh, a conductor has a series of signs and gestures that she uses to um, communicate with players as well as uh, actors and other uh, artists on stage. And so while the performance is going on, what happens is, is that she will give a sign or a gesture and the actors and musicians will improvise based on the gestures that she's giving. So it's, uh, it's improvisational both on the part of the musicians and it's also on the, it's the same way for the actors. Sound painting was actually created by a guy named uh, Walter Thompson, who is a composer and a conductor, and he has his own orchestra in New York that uses this uh, technique. He's also currently based in Sweden, but anyway, while we were there, we worked together, and uh, I, I thought it was a fascinating and really exciting way for musicians and actors to collaborate together. And so when I got here, uh, I thought it would be a great idea for you know, theater students and band students to get together and, and collaborate on something uh, where they could kind of give and take on the stage together. Sound painting is a sign language for conducted improvisation and I'm the first actor to have ever been sound painted um, and I helped Walter develop the language for theater and it's developed now into a language of 1200 signs and it's in 33 countries and um, it's growing every day. I really hope that the Timber Creek students feel a sense of empowerment that their ideas are valid and that they have a sense of confidence that what they bring to the table is worthy 